What's up y'all, so in today's video we're going to cover how to make a pop-up when you click on a row in this React table with Pagination. This is what it's going to look like if I were to click on this player right here. I would get more information in this modal right here containing their team name, assist, blocks, gameplay, stuff like that. And uh, I'm going to be walking through the entire setup of this app uh, to set up Pagination with the table. And uh, if you are only looking for the on-click functionality, then you can just go ahead and skip to this timeline right here and uh, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to assume you already have a React app made and started. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make one, start it up. And the first thing we're going to do is install all of our dependencies that we need for this uh, pagination with our modal. So I'm going to do npm install react bootstrap dash table dash two, whoops, just two, paginator react bootstrap table next react bootstrap bootstrap and axios and we'll just do dash dash save and let that work its magic so the next thing we're going to do is import our css for our uh, bootstrap and our pagination table so i'm going to go inside of my index.js file and i'm going to import the CSS. Uh, don't worry, this is all in the description below, so you can just go ahead and copy that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and import all of this stuff into our pagination.js file that we're going to be working in. So I'm going to do import axios from axios import import oh, whoops, I need a from there. I'm going to import bootstrap table from react bootstrap table next import pay pagination factory from react bootstrap paginator and import modal and a button from react bootstrap there we go all right now let's go ahead and create a use state for our players um, data. So I'll do const players set players is equal to use state and we'll just do an empty array. Alright, now let's make our access request and a use effect to be able to grab the data and set the data. So I'll do const get player data is equal to async arrow function and we'll do a try catch block and inside of here. I will do a const data is equal to await axios.get and this is going to be also in the description below so you can just go ahead and copy that. Oh, whoops, copy the wrong thing. There we go. And now use effect get player data call that function and I'll add an empty array bracket right here and save that right we also need to set our players data so I'll just do set players and I'll just do data dot data and now let's create a variable for our columns so const columns is equal to array and the first object will be data field field name text player name and duplicate that next one will be same thing points per game and let's do points per game and this is going to be team whoops team underscore name and this will be player team and now let's go ahead and use our um, bootstrap table tag that we imported so I'll just do bootstrap table did I grab the wrong one? I did grab the wrong one no nope. I did not okay I think I imported the wrong one 
now now we're good okay so the first thing we're going to do is key field and I'll do name for that data players columns columns pagination and we'll do pagination factory and yep we'll just leave that let's see how this looks cool so now we have pagination with our table grabbing the player's data now let's go ahead and when you click this we open up a modal that shows a player's um, extra data all right so the first thing we're going to do is create a couple more use states and handler functions so i'll do const uh, modal info set modal info use state set that to empty array bright whoops brace there we go and the next one is going to be const show modal uh, set show modal is equal to use state and set that to false next one is going to be const show set show set that to false not use effect use state false and the next two are going to be hand uh, handler functions for our modal so it's going to be const handle close set show to be false and I'll copy this and let's set this to true true and we'll call this handle show there we go all right so now we're going to create a uh, variable that's going to be responsible for grabbing our row data so I'm going to do const row events is equal to on click e row actually no let's just do row uh, and arrow function inside of here i will do console.log row and to use this right underneath here inside of the uh, bootstrap table tag we're going to just do um, row events is equal to row events and let's see what that gives us let's go into our inspector and if i were to click one there we go so we see that we have a class whoa that's weird i think we need to grab the other one so let's do instead of row let's do e and row now it should work there we go so now we have the players extra data so now we have their assist blocks defensive rebounds per game and we're going to use this make a modal and show that extra data when you click on their name all right so the next thing we're going to do is create a function that is going to be responsible for toggling between true and false so i'll do const toggle true false and i'll do set show modal to be handle show and now let's create our actual modal so i'll do const modal content and it's out here return actually before i create the modal i'm going to set inside this on click our modal info to be our row and to toggle between our true and false values all right, so now inside of the return statement, the first thing we're gonna do is create a modal. Oops, there we go. And I will give it the parameter of show is equal to show on hide is equal to handle close uh, modal dot header and so here I'll do a modal dot title a modal info dot name that was just a player's name I'll add a close button here and right underneath the header I am going to do a modal 
dot body. Uh, let's not worry about adding anything to that right now. And right underneath the modal dot body, I will do a modal dot footer. And for that, I will create a button. And I'll just call it close. I will do a variant is equal to secondary. Secondary, there we go. And on click is equal to handle close. And now let's see what it looks like. So if we click this, nothing appears. That's not good, right? We also need to use our actual modal content function. So right, inside of, right underneath our actual bootstrap table, I'm going to create a conditional statement. So I'll do show question mark modal content with a self-closing brace. Else, we'll just show nothing. And now it should work, hopefully. There we go. So now we have the player's name right here. And let's go ahead and grab a couple of these values and we'll just show them right here. But if we click, uh, let's say, Alec Burks right here, we'll get his player name and eventually his player data. So this really is up to however you want to do it. But I'm just going to simply um, show the player's data uh, in a list and uh, nothing too fancy. So I'll just do an H1 tag. This is players stats and we'll do a UL and an OL and inside here let's do um, team name and we'll give it modal info dot team underscore name let's copy this a couple times and now let's do the next one if you know how, if you want to know how I selected both of them, I just highlighted one. Control D on Windows. I'm not sure if you're on Mac, um, so I'll do assists per game. And the next one, let's do blocks per game. Let's do games played, uh, rebounds per game. Um, oops. points per game and let's get rid of this last one and let's see what this looks like it should be pretty good so if I want to know what Aaron Gordon's um, detail stats are so we can see his player stats he plays for the Orlando Magic he's average 0.7 blocks per game 38 games play which isn't bad um, but I'm trying to find the goat here. Where is he? Eh, I don't think it'll be too hard to find, whatever. So if we go to John Wall, we'll see his detail stats. Assists per game, which are pretty good, 9.3 assists. Points per game, 19.4. Not bad. Cool, so that concludes this tutorial. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, and learned how to create a pop-up when you click on a row. And if this video did help you guys out, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.